I am uh, Dr. S. K. Sahu. I am working in Pilani. My uh, field of research is uh, Belize architecture. Specifically, uh, if you see that how Belize multiplier, someone was working multiplier, and then multipliers, uh, when I have worked with multiplier, then I try to think where it can be used. Then I try to find out where it can be used. I found each and every place in signal processing multiplier is used. After that only I just started to read signal processing. After working with multiplier, I where to use, I tried to find out and then started with signal processing. Then I am working uh, for BLSA architecture for signal processing, specifically um, for filter, FFT processors and now also trying to see if uh, this BLS architecture can be used, how algorithms can be mapped to architectures. That things I am now starting. Four PhD students are working with me. Three of them are working on this uh, architecture for signal processing, FIR filter, FFT processors, adaptive filters. One of them is working for image processing algorithms, real-time uh, image processing algorithms, how to improve the speed. But today what I shall discuss is the recent trend since multiplier. Why multiplier? I think one of our friend will, why multipliers? Our friend also know why multipliers, it also told that FIR filter. You know all of you FIR filter. What is the expression for FIR filter? May I know your name please? What I think? You are the faculty or student, okay. So all are students, so I can interact as a student. Is it right? So can be, can be seated, no problem. What is FIR filter? Response, okay. So what is the expression for output of a FIR filter? B0 plus uh, B1. B1? I think we can go back to DP camera, right? Uh, what is the expression for FIR filter? Right? You can uh, output YN is expression as, uh, sorry, this is sigma i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 ai x n minus i. That n I have made a kept a mistake, mistake. So, sigma a i x n minus i. Okay, this is the expression. So that means uh, if we we'll expand this, I can get this expression as for n is equal to 10. Do you have pen and paper? Hmm? So I may ask you to do something. Don't. Uh, this is just a learning process. Don't worry. If you learn, work out, then only you can make out uh, what is that. It is. Uh, For n is equal to 10, the expression for output yn can be a0 xn, a1 xn minus 1, a2 xn minus 2, okay. Now, for n x, xn is the input sample and yn is the output sample you are finding out a0, a1, a n are the coefficients, okay. This is what is the uh, case of a fire filter. Who can answer? Raise your hand, don't uh, start answering. This question, whatever the blue color is there, light blue color, that will be a question for you. If it is not clearly visible, you can come front, no problem. Have you agree? 10 because a0 multiplied with xn, a1 multiplied with xn minus 1 and a9 multiplied with xn minus 9. So, there will be 10 multiplications required, okay. Now, you are correct, you know perfectly. For a sampling rate, you know what is a sampling rate. For a audio signals, 
the telephone quality audio signal. What is the frequency? Four kilohertz, right? Four kilohertz. Twenty kilohertz are up to audible, but telephone quality is up to four kilohertz, right? Why they choose four kilohertz? Because they want to within low bandwidth more number of channels to communicate. So they want to use only four kilohertz. Okay. So what will be the sampling rate then? Request sampling rate double of that. So for a sampling rate of 8,000 samples per second, my audio wise, telephone quality audio device sampled at 8,000 samples per second. Now is to be filtered. Okay, do some filtering job. What will be the number of multiplication per second required? What will be the number of multiplications required? To get one output, I am using 10 multiplications. Correct? To get one output, how do we get one output? To get one output, I am using xn. What is xn minus 1? What is the meaning of xn minus 1? Previous sample. xn minus 7, 9, 8, 9 is previous 9th sample. Right? So, to get one output, I have to do 10 multiplication. To get 8000 outputs, 8000 inputs are coming. So, you cannot get one output. You also have to, in one second, 8000 inputs are coming. You also need 8000 outputs. Isn't it? To get 8000 outputs, how many multiplications you need? 80,000. Correct? 80,000 multiplications per second. So, you need 80,000 multiplications per second. Right? This is a typical example of so, one multiplication should be completed in how much time? Now you can tell. 1 by 80,000. 1 by 80,000, how much it will be coming? 12.5 microseconds. Okay? 12.5 microseconds. In a, for just only processing my speech, a fire filter of length order 10, you need multiplication should be completed 12.5 microseconds. Okay? But if you see the real life, the frequencies which you use, not only in the 4 kilohertz, it will be megahertz, gigahertz, something will be there. If you consider megahertz and the order of the filter, if it will increase, the number of computation also will increase. So, you can imagine what is the speed of multiplications required. Isn't it? So, there a challenge is there because of which there is a need. So, but in practical real time use, very large sampling rate is needed as, as well as the N also, the order of the filter also large. So, faster multiplication is required. Okay? Taking this uh, into consideration, various researchers already worked. Deepika is working, many more people are working to find out better architectures. How to find out better architecture? There is no definite way of finding out better architecture. The depending, suppose someone wants faster, whatever may be the things I want faster, then you need a very high speed. Someone wants that wireless sensor, you know wireless sensor, right? Because communication people are there. Wireless, what is the critical thing in wireless sensor? Power, right? Energy. Because you are putting a wireless sensor inside a uh, forest for one year. It should work for one year. You are trying to monitor the environmental condition. So, you are putting one battery on that and you are expecting it should work for one year. So, that is the power is the critical thing. So, in that case, speed is not important. Power is important, okay? Throughout the day, it may be trying to find out 3 or 10 times what is the temperature. All other times it should be idle. So, speed is not important. Power consumption is important. So, depending on this requirement, if the speed is required more, you can go for high speed. If speed is not the critical, power is critical, then you should go for low power. So, that depending on the requirement, the design procedure, the everything will change. 
So that is how as the applications changes, the multiplier architecture, the multiplier implementation, all these things changes. So there is always a great demand for multiplier architectures till now in all field of signal processing. Okay. What we will go, will do, we will just briefly go through what are the various architectures present. Can you give some other examples where multiplier is used extensively? I already told, but still someone can tell. Pranjal, huh? what is your name? Kunjal, huh? can you tell? Other play example? In DFT, DFT. Discrete Fourier transformer, so DFT to multiply the input with toidal factor, okay, there also multiplier is used. So many more places it is used. All the communication students should be more aware because they are using OFDM. In OFDM, FFT is the important part. So in this uh, presentation, this uh, lecture, we will try to touch on this, may not be all the things time constraint is there, how much time you can sit down without any problem, you tell me then accordingly I shall go through, your name is, Trivedi, ok, so how much time you can, <coughs> no problem, comfortably, two hours, two hours. no problem, ok then, only one hour, no? that's okay, that's a be realistic, <laughs> okay, one hour is sufficient, right, okay, this is what I shall not go get into much depth, huh? this is a normalized get delay model, because BLSI, whenever you work, you can make, uh, use this normalized get delay model, what is the meaning of this, you, one thing is that you have all done the simulations, Okay. Another procedure is that without doing simulation, you use normalized gate delay model. That means in this case you can say two, two input NAND gate, what is the delay? We found out for 180 nanometer uh, technology, the delay is 103 picoseconds. Okay. Similarly, let us say XNOR gate, this 293 picoseconds. So, what we consider, this 293 picosecond is equal to 1, all others are compared with that and found out what is the delay, okay, that is what is the normalized get delay model. Once you found out that, now if you can design a circuit, you can find out what is the critical path, isn't it? In terms of normalized get delay, what is the critical path, is it clear? This is what is a normalized gate delay model. Let us take simple example of a, what is the circuit for? Full ladder, right? The simple full ladder, what is the normalized, what is the delay from input A, B, C to some, can I go back, should I go back to C, okay, just have a photograph of this in your mind, right, shall I go back, I am asking from input A, B, C to sum, what is the delay, better you should tell raise your hand, so that right. Tiwari, Trivedi, right? Trivedi. In picosecond 586. Not picosecond, I am asking normalized gate delay model. 2, is it correct? 2, because 2 XR gates are there from input to output. 2 XR gates are there. 2. Now, someone else should answer. What is the delay from any input to the carry out, C out? Is it clear what I am asking? Two outputs are there, sum and carry, all of you know full order. So what is the delay from input to output for carry? Yes. 
What is your name? 0 0.7. 0 .7 huh? You have added this 0 0.7. So that means because this will be giving us a So, 0.7 is it all of you agree? So, which one is the critical path? Punjal, which one is the critical path? 0.7 is the critical path. What is the meaning of critical path? Delay is more. Hmm? So, which one is the critical path? From input to sum. How much unit of delay? 2. From input to carry? 0.7. What is the critical path? Sum, isn't it? So, keep in mind that in a full order, if we consider A, B to sum, it is 2, in, two delay and C into sum, it is 1 delay. In case of sum also, but right. So, from C in this to carry it is also C in is equal to 1 whereas for A, B, C into C out it is 0 0.788. Let us consider 1 for easy purpose we are considering it is 1. Okay. So, two delays are there one is 2 another is 1. Okay. So, please keep in mind because the carry out is giving at will get faster and some will get after 2 units of delay. The worst case delay for full order is 2 units. Okay. Similarly, the worst case delay of an half order is also 1 unit, which I do not uh, want to discuss, you know. Let us see multiplication process. Hmm? We will come back to use of this thing, multiplication process. Okay. In a multiplication process, what are the things involved? Can you do the multiplication of three, three ones with three ones, pen and paper? Three ones and three ones. If you don't, three one means what is the bind of decimal value? Three one means seven. You don't say that seven into seven is equal to forty nine. That you should not tell. Three, three ones, do multiplication with three ones. How do you do the multiplications? One partial product row will be there, next another partial product will be there, next another partial product will be there. Isn't it? Do it. Do it. If it will be interactive, that is better. Completed? Let me see. Right. So, you should not write down in this decimal form. I want you to do this thing. Anyone can help? Okay, I have a pen. You can, you can. Hmm? Then, how you are doing? I, what can I? Three ones, then below three ones, next below three ones. Okay? When the second row you are putting, can I see? When second row you are putting, Okay. Anyway, let me see other case. Okay, all of you have done the same way, right? No problem. So three ones, three parcel product rows when we are putting, one row will be first row will be as it is, second row will be one bit shifted, third row will be one more shifted, right? And then you add particular specific columns hmm, and get the result, right? So let us see. This is how is the multiplication process. Eight some bits are there, eight bits. Then you will get eight partial product rows, and then to add these rows, that is called as add these rows. What you can do? Complete one row addition of the one column. Then what you do after completion of one column? If there is a carry, what to do? Go to the next. Then start adding all the other column Oof. along with the carry. Next, you progress further. So, this way, what will happen? Carry will have to progress, propagate from first column 
second column, third column, isn't it? This is sort of general procedure. Other procedure is that you parallelly add all the columns first. Suppose you are adding the middle column, there are eight ones are there. Corresponding to the eight one, what is the value? Will be eight. So those things you will add all the things parallelly. All columns you add it parallelly. Suppose, uh, suppose let us consider the third column. All three are one. What will be the value? Binary representation. All three are one. What is the binary representation? One one, right? Sum is one. Carry is one. Okay. So every place, what we can do, we can put sum. And whatever the carry, we can progress further. Okay, that is what is called the carry safe addition. You don't add the carry, you save the carry. That's called the carry safe addition. You must be knowing this thing. So that is how we can do in sum row and carry row. Two rows will put, and finally, the addition of the sum row and carry row can be done using carry propagate adder. Okay, this is what is the multiplication process. Let us start with this simple example. 6 bit plus 6 bit multiplications. 6 parcel product rows will be there. Now, what we will do? First, add, use a full adder. So, how many bits it can add? Full adder? A full adder can add how many bits? 3 bits, right? That is why it is called as 3 is 2. What will be the number of outputs? 2, right? That is why it is called as a 3 is to 2 compressor also. Hmm? So 3 is to 2 compressor. If I am using this 3 is to 2 compressor for the first 3 rows, okay. First 3 rows, if I am using 3 is to 2 compressor, the 6 parcel product row will convert to how many rows? I am only using for the first 3 rows. First 3 rows then it will be converted to first three rows will be converted to so remaining i am not touching so now it will be five percent products below it is there three plus two will be five this i am able to achieve do it using one full order which is having delay of what is the critical delay of two x circuit isn't it so, 5 parcel product uh, rows we got using 2 XR gates. Now, you see, once again I am doing, what I am doing? From the top, next 3 rows I am taking. Correct? Next 3 rows I am taking, it will be decreasing to 4 rows. So, if we will proceed this way, how much delay it will be there? 1, 1 stay if I am going. To get finally two rows, how much uh, delay will be there? Two, 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 eight, eight extra delays, right? How much time it took to have finally two rows? N minus two into two, okay? N is uh, <coughs> six. In the present case, it is 6, 6 bit multiplication. So, 6 minus 2, 4 into 2, this many XR gates delay will be required. Okay. Now, what we will do? How do we increase the speed? Anyone can suggest? How do we increase the speed? That's right. Basically, what we are doing? 6 parcel product rows making two rows, that's all the thing. In this, whatever the procedure we followed, it is taking eight extra days, delays. Now, how I can reduce this eight extra delays to further, less? What I should do? All of you know. One thing is reducing the parcel products. You know this thing. What is the other approach? Using high speed adder. What is the high speed adder you will use? Four by two compressor you can use, you know. That that will come. 
Hmm. You can tell. We will not wait for completion of the first three addition. We can do parallelly. First three will take. At the same time, second three also will take. And do the addition. Right? So, this is what we have done in the next case. You can see. First three we have taken. Second three we have taken. So, simultaneously parallelly we are getting 4. So, the delay is now reduced to that case 2xr, next case is 2xr. Now, this 4 will be added further to get the final result. Then here I cannot, I assume that we are not, I have this 4 is to compression, we will go, go to the, that. Once again I shall do. So, now what is the delay? How much time it took to have finally 2 rows? What is your name? Middle. Bandana. How much time it will take? Half. Please see, calculate what is the problem. Six. six, right? Now it is six, okay? So you agree that it is taking six extra delay. Please keep a note of this. Huh? We are further moving forward. We will accumulate this 3, 6 to have this thing. So, this you can keep note that this is the column which is taking more time because this is having more number of ones. That is taking the maximum time. Okay. So, to accumulate that, we are having different approaches. One is uh, this approach in which we have to go through four, four full orders, that is the array approach. In this case, it is taking eight extra delay, whereas if you are using this other approach, it is taking six extra delay, right? The two things which we compared, eight, now it is six. Now further, we will try to reduce this reference paper which uh, in 1964, people have done something in 1964. Till now, we are using that Booth's Booth's algorithm. If you see multiplication, always people till now using. He is a mathematician, not engineering. Right. After the first accumulation, we got four rows. Is it clear? In the first, we, if you see. Initially it was 6 rows, then we, when you add parallelly 2 full adder 3 is to 2 compression, we got 4 rows. These 4 rows can be accumulated using 4 is to 2 compression. Okay, this is what you are telling 4 is to 2 compression. Very interesting, simple, nothing difference. All whatever you do, same thing people have done, but they reduce the delay. Okay, what is this 4 is to 2 compression? You see, this is a order for, assume there are four columns in a, that is the specific column in which four bits are there, which you want to add. So, to add four bits, you cannot use a single full order. You have to go for two full orders, right? Two full order, though it is compressing four, it is, it may, it is also expecting a carry from the from here it is expecting a carry from previous column, is not it? It is expecting a carry from the previous column. So, one carry is also expecting, so that is how it is taking four fresh inputs and one carry input that is to be taken care of. Okay? Now, if you see this full adder, what will be the critical delay in terms of normalized gate delay? What is your name? Kulna. Kulna. Okay. What is your title, Kandalini? Uh, I speak the most Kandalini. Your title. I am asking, not topic title. Okay. Okay. Can you just answer to this question? You can. 
Yes. Yes. My question is, I think. My question is, what will be the delay in this case? Very simple. Full order, what is the critical delay? 2. That means input to some, you will be getting 2 delays. Now, this is given as input to another full order to get out at the output. How much delay? How 1? This 2 more delays, na? 2 plus 2, that is 4. Isn't it? it? So, 4 delay is there, 4 unit of delay. Someone has tried to see, understand the logic that he understood that the C in to get output, if I, am a full, full, I have a full order, the carry can be obtained after how much delay? 1 unit of delay. 0 0.7, let us consider 1 for easy purpose. Carry can be obtained after 1 delay, but some can be obtained after 2 delays. Okay. So, what we can do so that the 4 delay can be, be, become 3 delay? Is my question clear? Is my question clear? Presently, this connection is giving a critical delay of 4 because input 110 to sum it is taking 2. Then the full adder work will start. This input to sum will take 1 more 2 delays, 4 delays. But is there anything you can do so that the 2 delay, 4 delay can be reduced? In one full adder, we take uh, the two inputs, give two inputs simultaneously. Two inputs simultaneously. So one operation performed. And then uh, third, uh, third input. We have four inputs. Uh, means, uh, in both the adder, the third input will be done. Uh, so in the in the first full adder, how many inputs I shall give? I shall give. Three inputs. Uh -huh. So some is uh, some is uh, in. Uh, just try to do one thing, try to analyze, is it coming perfectly, then proceed. Uh, sir, uh, when uh, first full adder calculate is uh, sum, at the time in the second full adder, we give two inputs. Separate second full adder, we give two inputs, okay. So, uh, first uh, exorgate of uh, answer is uh, completed, we, uh, parallel with the uh, first full adder. So, one uh, for unit of delay is reduced, so it is a uh, three, uh, three, uh, three Okay, I shall discuss with you. We have something, but after that we will discuss. Maybe your idea can be a better idea than that. Okay, let us see, but after that we will discuss. Because our friends told that one hour, I will try like to go through that one hour. You can see this. This is the original left side is the first thing which you are discussing which has 4 exerted. Okay. The second, what is the difference? In the second figure, what is the difference? There also we have used two full adders. What is the difference? Who can identify? We use we add first the carry and then uh, in second letter we add the next Could you able to make it? She could make, make out. Good. In the, in the, this case, there is no specific, this input is given. This is at another, C in is given here. What we are doing here, in this case, this sum, which is obtained after 2 unit of delay, is given as input to this. So, from this sum to output, how much time? Because carry into output, how much time? 1 unit, right? Carry our input to output is 1 unit of delay, okay? So, and this 0 is available earlier, no problem. C in is coming from the previous state and C in is obtained after carry is coming after earlier one unit of delay. If you consider the previous stage also using an order, carry out is coming after one unit of delay, sum is coming after two unit of delay. 
okay so that means the inputs if you see here this input is coming after two unit of delay this input is available at zero time this input is available at one input one delay time okay so you can see here two zero one representing the delay of availability so from two this carry into some how much time it will take one unit so now what you have achieved so in three xr gates the same order same full address are used nothing else no extra hardware used only thing is that connection is made such a that the one xr delay is reduced okay assume we have a very big multiplier or very big order circuit in which we have to use this 4 is to compressor five labels of such 4 is to compressor so how much delay saving you got five xr gates delay five normalized xr gates you may think that only one xr del delay but that will result in significant advantage later on because here you don't spend anything but only gaining in speed is increased clear this is how you have to progress you have to understand what is the you have to see each and every place there is a possibility of scope as c told we'll analyze after the this presentation it may be possible hard way or you same bola huh? okay good good the same thing similarly i thought that something different will be coming and new thing will be coming okay good okay now we so if i am using 4 is to compressor what is the delay now what is the complete delay now first stage is for two second four is to compression three so now the delay is five right now let us have a comparison in terms of normalized gate delay model the first case was delay was eight for a six bits six bit multiplication i am considering second method it is six third method if it is five if you consider eight bit multiplication first case it is 12 the second case it is 8 third method is 6 okay so this is how the people have started getting into involved trying to involve and trying to increase the speed with minimal penalty on area or power okay uh, you know booth's algorithm right what purpose this booth algorithm is used i am not going to ask you much what purpose people use this booth algorithm booth algorithm is a myth so now we are trying to reduce the things right trying to reduce the hardware if you see in this case we discussed the accumulation of the parcel products to two rows this is what we are discussing if there are eight parcel product rows accordingly we have to compress it to two rows if we will have four parcel product rows it will be easier difficult if you have four parcel product rows then adding this to two will take less time or more time less time isn't it so what uh, one gentleman professor booth has done he tried to see that in place of eight parcel product rows if i can reduce the number of parcel product rows it will be good hmm? so what he has done he has what with the partial product generation how i can reduce the number of partial products and try to reduce the partial products okay i shall not get into in depth of what he, how he is doing i shall just tell you one traditional method is just multiply parcel one uh, suppose another one bit is there another bit is there use a and get you get the partial product another method is booth encoding method booth radix for which is mainly used what they do sign binary twos complement representation form is partition to overlapping group of three bits and each group is represented by a sign digit taken from possible values of minus two minus one zero to minus two to two okay that means if 
that means what they do they take three bits corresponding to three bit they find out a group corresponding to that group they find out a digit suppose b and a and b are the multiplicand multipliers two operands one of the operand is b so they take three bits for three bits they find out what is the value overlapping bit of three bits uh, find out what is the value by this method the number of partial product rows will be half if they are using radix 2 to the power radix 2 to the power 2 radix 2 to the power let us put uh, n hmm? right for n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 what will be the value radix 4 so if n is equal to 2 radix 4 the number of partial product rows will be half okay if n is equal to 3 what it will be radix 8 so number of partial product rows will be by 3 that means if the number of partial product was 9 now it will be 3 okay if we go on increasing this 3 value n value the number of partial product rows will decrease so that is how Booth has given a statement in much 64 something still people are trying to use it now also there is no one who is giving a better algorithm than that so you can see because of use of this this is how it, the grouping is done now because of this the partial products for 8 bit now reduced to 4 bit 4 partial product rows if we use radix 8 it will be by 3 if you use radix 16 it will be by 4 if it will use radix 64 it will be if you use radix 64 is equal to 2 to the power how much 6 so the number of partial product will go decrease by 6 okay so this is a excellent work which uh, he has given because of this various various advantages will be there decrease in accumulation time of parser products because less number of parser product accumulation time also will be less okay one more thing is that the number of adders used also will be less so that is giving number of advantages okay this difficulty is there some difficulty is there because to find out radix 2 to the power n let us say radix 2 to the power n for n is equal to 2 is equal to 2 you have it is radix 4 so you have to find out suppose a is a number and multiplied with b so you have to find out number as minus 2a plus minus minus a 0 plus a plus 2a okay because that that means 2 to the power n by 2 minus 2 to the power n by 2 to plus 2 to the power n by 2 that thing you have to find out right let us say n is equal to let us take n is equal to uh, 4 so radix will be what will be the value radix 16 so that means what you have to find out minus minus 4a minus 8a minus 7a 0 plus 8a okay correct now how to find out 2a a is given a is basically one of the operand how to find out 2a one bit shifting isn't it how to find out 4a two bit shifting no problem how to get 3a can you do it using shifting? 3a cannot be found out using shifting. You have to add a plus 2a. Isn't that it? So, if you are going for higher radix, you have to, you, you, it, it will be costly. In terms, it will, you will have to overhead. Extra cost circuit will be there, there to get 3a. Right? If I am going for radix 16, I have to find out minus 7a also I have to find out, 3a also I have to find out, 
5 here also I have to find out. Isn't it it? 7a is equal to 4a plus 3a. Right? Or 8a minus a. That is better. 8a minus a is 8a plus a bar plus 1. That can be done using one order. Isn't it it? So, these are the additional overhead things which you have to take care. So, that is why the higher radix is not that much uh, getting popular. But if you people will work further, it is possible. Now, I am just extended one more column on the right side using Booth and Coding. So, earlier it was 8, then 6, then 5. If I am using modified Booth encoder, the number of delays reduced to 2. Okay, radix 4. If you will further use, the delay further reduced. So, you understood how the multipliers are done. But in all industries, people are mostly using Radix 4 booth encoding. 4 is to the compressor along with wall street structure is used for faster product uh, accumulation. Fast carry look I had ordered is used in the final order stage because CLA is a faster. Many more new orders are there which is used. We will we'll consider go through this multiplier architectures. After that, we will stop. Okay. One is the parallel multipliers. You know what is the meaning of parallel multiplier? You give input, get output. There is no intermediate blockage. So the, the so the time it takes is equal to input given and output you are finding out that's the parallel multiplier. In which you will have a parcel product generator, parcel product accumulator, compressor, whatever we discussed, and final order. So parallel multipliers are used for high speed applications. The second architectures are serial multipliers, serial parallel multiplier. That means, what you think, we don't want very fast, we also don't want very slow. To some extent, in between, some we say that input is coming from something, but one of the, of the out of the two operands, one operand is fixed, another operand we are expecting, one after another. So then what we can do, use in, uh, see this parallel serial multiplier, we can see, typically this example, if you see, inputs are uh, this point, so inputs are given as serially, one after another, we are giving inputs, three, three inputs are converted using booth encoder, giving input, and this Another parallel in input is available. So, every clock cycle, one parcel product row will be generated. And finally, after n by 2 clock cycle, all parcel products will be generated and can be accumulated. This is another paper, which is uh, another thing which people have done. They, this is a serial serial multiplier. What they are doing? All the operands are coming serially. And uh, in place of accumulator, in place of adding those uh, bits using adders, what they have done, they try to use a counter. Suppose there is a column, eight in a big col in a single column, there are five ones are there, three zeros are there. What will be the count? If we we'll do the count, what will be the count? What will be the count? Once again. In a single column of parcel, parcel product rows are there, you want to accumulate a single column. In that column, eight one, five ones are there, three zeros are there. So, what will be the counter if I sell you? Five, isn't it? So, what the people have done, for each column, they use one counter. These people have done one, one counter. So, they, in place of using order, because inputs are coming serially, so they use that counter counted after 8 clock cycles, the counting is over. Now they found out each column what is the value, then they add it. So this is what is done by uh, some mayor in 2011, IEEE transaction paper, this is IEEE transaction paper. And, and you are doing so many simulations, they have done little bit of simulation. 
what they have done they have used this normalized get model based on normalized get model because they don't have i think they some people may not have that much facility to use this sophisticated tools but still if they have a idea they can prove it through this normalized get delay model and that is get accepted in ieee transaction paper okay so this is a serial serial multiplier one more is this inputs are coming serially another is a lut based multiplier lookup table based multiplier what is a lookup table you know all fpgas you heard of that lookup table means you have used lookup table means you have you know hmm? like let us see suppose a is a number b is a number a is 8 bit b is also 8 bit so first four bits you take it one group second four bits one group okay now what you will do a multiplied with b is equal to first four bit whatever the value into b second four bit multiplied with b and that is to be four positions shifted or two to the power four isn't it because of the position value clear this expression is it clear right so now what are the possible values of a7 a6 x5 a4 how many possible values are there two bits are there how many possible values of two bits two bits four values 2 to the power 2 four bits are there how many possible values what is your name how many possible values 16 right so now this multiplied with b a0 a3 a2 a1 a0 multiplied with b you can have possible 16 possible combinations right either the multiplication value will be 0 b 2b 3b or 15b nothing else so what i can do i can have a memory in that memory i shall store 0 b 2b 3b 4b 5b up to 15b okay i shall store it and then if my input is 0010 what i shall choose my input is 0010 what i shall choose what i shall choose 2b because 0010 is 2b so my output my from the memory i shall choose 2b right and i shall get the output if my zero my input is all ones what i shall choose 15b 15b right so i shall get that is what is done in lut based multiplier four bits of a will take okay i shall get suppose now what is happening i have eight bits the first four bit i shall take find out the corresponding multiplication value give it to the order okay initially i my shift my um, other input is zero okay the next clock cycle what i shall take next four bits i shall take find out what is the multiplication result put it there the, and the things is right so then using this circuit i can do the implementation is it clear lookup table best correct so this is what is the lookup table where it is used where it can be used i forgot your name ardi ardi where it is used that means what you are telling that in this case we expect that one of the upper end is fixed isn't it here a can change but b cannot change b is fixed where is that case situation what is the situation next to hardik fir filter you know 
for a specific requirement filter if you want a filter for this specific frequency the coefficients are fixed isn't it if the coefficients are fixed that can be b okay so input can vary input will be new inputs will be coming but coefficient is fixed so in that case we can use this lut approach okay another is a fixed width multiplier what is this fixed width multiplier ardhik 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 trived tridev trividi nisant nisad d what is fixed width multiplier What is your name? Bandana. Yes, yes. Bandana. What is fixed width multiplier? That means if you multiply it 8 bit with 8 bit, what will be the result? 16 bit. Suppose you have to do number of times such multiplications. Once you got 8 bit with 8 bit, 16 bit. That is to be added. Then another 8 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit. So, if you have to do, suppose 10 times you have to do this, this type of things. Multiply and then accumulate. Multiply and accumulate. So, what will result every time? The width will go on increasing. Isn't it? If you see FIR filter, expression A0, Xn, A1, Xn minus 1, A2, Xn minus 2. So, A0, Xn is 16 bit. A1, Xn minus 1 is 16 bit. A2, Xn minus 2 is 16 bit. So, if you are adding two 16 bit result, things what will be the result done to add to 16 bit num values 17 bits isn't it if you add two n bit numbers the addition result will be n plus 1 if you multiply two n bit numbers the result will be double right so what is happening when you do multiply and accumulate number of times repeatedly the width of the things will be going on increasing which creates a problem this will be hardware requirement will be very large. So, in some applications, specifically image processing applications, video applications, they try to reduce the width of the after multiplication. In place of 8 plus 8, 16, they try to fix again 8. Understood? So, they truncate some part of the information. This is what is called as a fixed width multiplier. Let us see what is this they are doing? You can see in this case, this is a typical example taken from some paper. X, Y, they are multiplying. They have some results. What they are doing? They are truncating the lower part, only keeping the higher part. Truncating. That is fixed width. Correct? So, what will be the advantage? If this fixed width, what will be the advantage? Bandana. Pandana, right? Huh. What will be the advantage? Nisit. What will be the advantage? Yes, you have to clearly, there is no need to think of that. If we consider this, remove this part, what will be the disadvantage you can tell? Any one of you? What will be the disadvantage? Yes, yes. Right. We are losing some of the information, isn't it? This is clear disadvantage. Less accuracy will be less, right? Accuracy will be less, right? And what we are gaining? This much computations will be less, isn't it? This much computation we don't have to do, right? When we are getting advantage, we are also getting some disadvantages. So, advantage is this approach reduces up to 50% of the full width multiplier. So, consumes less power, computation will be faster, at the same time, large truncation error. Okay, here I am not telling anything, there is a redundant binary number system, RB number system. You try to, there is a various number system. See, our mathematicians are very interesting. Mathematicians are only giving us real challenges, helping us to find out real challenges. 
is a redundant binary number system which uh, in which if you do the addition there is no carry propagation. If you use ripple carry adder you know the definitely the carry should propagate but this RB number system is that and if you do 50 bit with 50 bit addition there is no carry propagation ok fine let us any questions you have so ok